Yo, what is going on guys? This is Flawless Gaming. Just wanted to quickly go over some things with the Streamlabs chatbot, which is basically Streamlabs integrated with Inkbot, and they made a fucking baby. So, we're gonna go over that real quick. All right, so first of all, let me pull up the app on my thing right here. All right. So let's go here first. Uh, we've got the, we're gonna go over the layout. First off, you have the tabs of all the things that this app does. Over here, we have the chat. Over here, we have the viewers, and you can actually change this side. This side can actually be mod uh, modded to where you can just have, uh, I actually get rid of the viewer list. I could get rid of the event log. I could get rid of uh, the music playlist. I could put, music queue up or just a queue of people that I'm playing with that are waiting in line to play um I just prefer to have the viewers up the event log and my playlist so I can see who's uh, requesting the songs I can see what the songs are first of all because you don't want to be trolled and that happens so we we try to do away with that uh, the event log if you don't know what that is the event log is like when you get a follow a subscription if anyone shares with bits you're rated or hosted it all shows up right there on this front screen where you can see it all uh, moving on we've got the dashboard the dashboard is like the where you change the title and the game of what you're playing on twitch so you can change the title change the game you can also change the community turn um the community is a little funny on here though, I'll be honest. Sometimes it doesn't bring up the communities I have to actually go to Twitch and find the actual community. For some reason, it, I don't know why. But I, it might just be a little buggy right now with that, but it still works. Um, you could also do automated hosting right here. You can also do the rate assist, which I haven't used. I haven't used the rate assist. I have it on, I have it checked on, but I haven't used it. Uh, I will eventually try it out and probably do a review on how that works out. But Twitch has just integrated a raid mechanism on their actual site. So I don't even think that would be something we would need to be honest with you. Um, uh, here's the subscribers and basically you can just see who subscribed to you, what time, what day, how long, all that stuff. Your commands right here on this side. Commands are things that you, your, moder your moderators, or just anyone in chat can type in and basically interact with the bot that you have. So I have one for everyone that's called lurking. It just says pro lurking going down because some people come into the chat and they just want to hang out and not talk and just watch or do whatever they're doing in the background at wherever they're at and just have my stuff pulled up and uh i have you know exclamation mark lurk they come in boom boom and it pops up and they just it just kind of lets me know that they, hey they're lurking so <clears throat> i have some other ones that are set for moderators i'm still working on a lot of other ones that are for everybody to use right now the moderator ones are like something like if someone doesn't know how to donate or wants to donate and they don't know that they can just go down to the panel where it says donate and click it i can actually drop that command in there and it drops a link in there for them uh <clears throat> if you want me to go more in depth on how to set up a command like actually create one and uh you know things like uh dollar sign url and all that stuff leave a comment below and i will actually do that but for now it's it's really self-explanatory and it doesn't have that much depth into it so uh we're gonna move on timers a lot of stuff to go over here timers timers are things that post in your chat periodically you can time them you can have it set to different numbers of chat lines like 15 15 chat lines for every 30 minutes okay so i only have two of those set up right now uh i'm not gonna go over quotes because i don't have any quotes set up and uh i don't know if i i don't know if i will i don't know if that's a thing i'll do 
uh, giveaways. If you do any type of giveaway, you can do it right here. You can do exclamation mark raffle. You could also change the command. You don't have to have it as raffle. You could put it as ticket. You could put it as giveaway. You can put it as whatever you want. You can put the prize. You can put join permission, which could be everyone if you so choose, or you could have it at subscriber, or you could have it as your regulars, or you can have your just your game with subscribers info uh i'm not too sure what info means to be honest with you i think that's just something to do with the uh the game wisp thing i don't have a game wisp so uh you can set the ticket cost and how many tickets they can get and use timers song requests this is actually a big deal because a lot of people are still using multiple windows for a lot of things. So like myself, when I first started, I had Nightbot running my music. I had Twitch chat pulled up, boom. So that's two windows. And then I had, what was it? I had, uh, oh, I had the Streamlabs uh, labels so I could see the events. Cause I, without that, I wouldn't have, I really can't tell unless I'm looking at the stream and it shows on OBS, but I had the events pulled up my chat and I had, uh, the music playing for Nightbot. And that was just a lot of windows going on and it's really confusing. And with this, it kind of just puts it all in one. Like I said, it's, it's really easy to use. You see this here, this is where your songs come up, This or this is where the playlist that you could set at comes up, and this is where the ones that people request are. But the thing with this is, on the front console, you have this bottom bar. Bottom bar has the play, the next, the back, the shuffle, all that stuff. That's where this is going to get cool, because you don't have to have this screen up to actually listen to music or adjust things you can be on the front screen watching your chat watching the events watching your your viewer list or whatever and not have to worry about you know switching pages real quick like you know hectic to change a song or stop a song from playing so that's really cool that they did that uh this is another cool thing that they did the sound effects sound effects are commands that have sounds so i'm actually gonna play one for you right now if you don't mind let's see let's see wow damn son you just hit with the wow effect so that is something that i have set for my subscribers uh and my moderators not just for everybody so you could have cool sound effects i mean what's better than that right cool sound effects are dope um, Q. Q is like if you're playing, for example, Destiny and you want to do a raid and people you want people to play with you, you could have people play with you and they can queue up like this. You can put hash, uh, little hashtag, exclamation mark join and basically they can join. And you can even set a cost like a currency, which we'll get into that in a minute. <clears throat> so you can even adjust the size of the queue have it i'm pretty sure as big as you want let me see 100 oh wait it's not even adjusting why it's not adjusting be smart what is wrong with you oh well i guess you can only have so many and apparently it's only zero i don't know why it's not typing that's weird oh i think i have to There we go. All right, so you can you can adjust to whatever you want. All right, so counter. This is kind of cool. I don't I haven't used it yet, but I could see me using it on like something like Cuphead or something, because you die a lot, or you can even change it to lives or victories or wins or whatever like whatever you want. Like for example, if you play PUBG. Chicken dinners. How many chicken dinners have you gotten? Boom. During the stream. 
gotten, let's say, three chicken dinners. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Boom, three. You can even set a starting amount. So, it, it's just really, something really cool to kind of display in your stream. So, we'll move on to currency. And this is all a lot of viewers that have come to my stream and gained some type of points. Points are currency. The, the hours, basically, this is how it works. With mine, it's like every five minutes is 12 points or something like that. So, I think you also get some for raids, but I haven't got anything from raids or nobody's raided me. So they've only done it from being in the stream for a certain amount of time. So this is also another way that people can come into your stream, gain currency and uh, kind of gather hours and you can actually go into the chat. Let's, let's show you real quick. Bear points. Boom, it shows that I have been in my chat for 26.8 hours and I have gained 4,844 flawless crowns. Flawless crowns is the name of my currency and I can spend that currency if I ever so choose to set song requests, for example, to 200 points or flawless crowns per song request. I could do that, but I'm not, I didn't, I'm, you know what I'm saying? You get the, you get what I'm saying. So let's say mini games. I have, I actually have these set up. Uh, heist. I have heist. I have, I thought I had free for all. Yeah. We're going to, we're going to have free for all. I thought I had it on. Uh, boss battle. I have that on. Basically you can use the commands. For free for all heist and boss battle, and it will basically start a kind of mini game for the viewers. I mean, it's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, there's polls. You can take a poll on something. You can do betting. You can do events. You can do them. You can use your mod tools and things of that nature, like uh, protection with cabs. Link protection, which I have some of that stuff on. Only my subscribers can post links right now. Um, I haven't set up Discord yet because I'm still working on this. Uh, but it's coming soon. But uh, yeah, that's it. I just kind of wanted to go over Streamlabs and kind of give you a kind of a rundown of how it works and. I will go into more detail if you would like. Just let me know in the comments. I'll drop another video later. But for now, just want to try to make this under 10 minutes. I don't know if I did or not. But we will see. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and it was helpful, go drop a Twitch, a follow, and subscribe to my YouTube. And peace out.